Wally here. I'm Bruno. Where are you? I'm Bruno. I'm Bruno. Guys, this is the Hyundai HYB5200 leaf blower, backpack blower, whatever you want to call it. I've had it for a couple of months, guys, and I thought maybe that I would, uh, I would go over it and just give you my sort of first impressions on it. Okay, but first let's let's uh, let's have a look at it in action. <laughs> Obviously, guys, that wasn't me using it. Uh, I am way more handsome than that man. Uh, but that was my brother being super lazy. And what he was doing actually was uh, cleaning up all the cut grass that I had cut with the backpack blower instead of lifting it, which is uh, super efficient. <laughs> uh, super efficient, if not super tidy. But here, listen, it worked. And if, if you've seen my, my strumming video before that, you would have seen that that grass was about this high, so it, he was, it was quite a weight of grass, and it was wet, okay? So, here it is, guys. I've had this maybe three months, three months, okay? Now, I got the Hyundai based on how well the, how well the brush cutter performed when I got the Hyundai brush cutter. It was really, really good, and I have to say that this is different. Okay, so there's just a couple of things, Bruno. Here, come here, come here. Look, you're, you're like right in front of the camera. You're right in front of the camera. Come over here. Get, come on, get out. Get out of it. Bruno's, Bruno's ruining my shot. I'm making it better, actually. What, by showing his ass off to the camera? Right, come on, do it. Come on. Okay, so, guys, this is a 52cc four stroke engine. Okay? It, it, it functions quite well. Okay, it functions quite well. I have used still ones and Husqvarna ones in the past, and they are better. Okay? But it's the overall build of this. Okay, and some of the design things are just, they're not great, to tell you the truth. Okay, so, it feels cheap. It feels cheap. It looks cheap as well, all right? When you're using it, the design of, of, the, of the arm thing, okay, the blower part of it, okay, is not very ergonomic. It's, it's a little bit awkward to use and it doesn't feel right, okay? Uh, the plastics and the padding. Let's let's get some close-ups, guys. The padding on these shoulder straps is basically non-existent. Uh, this feels, you know, it 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 just feels cheap, guys. It just feels cheap. That's and that, and that's the truth of it. Okay, function-wise, guys. Uh, the a, uh, a backpack blower like this is not something I'm going to be using on a daily basis, okay? So it'll probably last for quite a while, okay? The thing is, right? 
there's a couple of annoying features, a couple of a couple of things that I just think to myself, what were you thinking? Okay. Do you see these fuel lines here? Alright. To prime it, you have to put your finger up in between these fuel lines to get to the primer bulb, which is in at the back. Okay? That you know, that's something that's a design flaw. That's something that's not gonna last, okay? So it's right up in there. I don't know if you can even see it, guys. Look right up in there okay guys now this is a bit of a i don't i don't know how you would how you would call this okay so this 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 nozzle for the fuel guys is incredibly small this opening here okay so what you have to do now i use these husky ca combi cans all the time all right so what you have to do is you have to open the husky can Pour it in like that. Otherwise, it just all flows back out again because this is too narrow. Okay, not the greatest, uh, not the biggest gripe in the world. Okay, uh, and get this. This fuel reservoir is huge. <laughs> it's huge. But guys. It w this is the thing, pros and cons, right? Pros and cons. Let's look at it. Okay, pros and cons, right? Now you sit, Bruno. Just sit, sit. Not in front of me. You sit there. Good dog. Sit. Sit. Good dog. Okay, pros and cons. It's cheap. It works. It's effective, okay? It's quite effective. Uh, that, that would be my pros. Uh, you know, I mean, it's quite powerful, okay? Cons, that primer bulb is a disaster, okay? The fuel cap is annoying, the ergonomics aren't great, and it feels quite cheap, okay? Uh, the build quality and everything, like look, so this is this is the pla a plastic vent here. Look, okay, so, you know, I've, I've seen toys that are better built than this, okay? This whole thing here is, is just not very well designed. I, I have used, uh, Makita ones, I've used Husqvarna's and I've used Stills and they are just much better. But you are going to pay more money for it. That's for them, that, that's the thing. Uh, so first impressions guys, it's okay. Do I regret buying it? I probably wish I had have spent a wee bit more money and got a four stroke one, got one of the Makitas or something like that, to be honest with you. Uh, but. I, it was in and around 120 pound, I think. You know, 120 pound for a 55 cc uh, leaf blower. You know, you, you get what you pay. You're a good dog. You're a good dog. You sit, 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 sit. Guys, yeah, you get what you pay for it. Do you know what I mean? It's, it'll probably last me a long time. You know, and probably the first thing that's going to happen is the plastics are going to go on it. Uh, and that's that. I do feel that is it is a lesser quality than the brush cutter, but maybe it's just that there's more going on here, you know. So it is, you know, straps and all that there stuff. The the like these 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 shoulder pads are are, are shocking, you know, shocking. So it's a sort of. Uh, <laughs> I'm still going to use it. I'm still going to use it. And if 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 I find myself in in a situation where I'm using it a lot, I'll probably just get rid of it and buy another one. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty. What do you want to say, Bruno? Bruno loves the camera. Oh. <laughs>